Hello and welcome to my channel. In the previous video, Java Beam Mappings with Mapstract and Quarkus, you learned how to use Mapstract in a Quarkus project by applying the DTO and our design pattern. The Mapstract library can be used to make mappings between two Java Beans of different types, DAO and DTO, but it can also be used to merge two Java Beans of the same type. Let's see how to use this Mapstract feature right away. Considering the Quarkus Mapstract project that you can find in my GitHub repository, you can see that inside the movie resource there is no method to update movie inside the database. I'm going to implement the update method using the put annotation. As the input of the update movie method, I use the movie DTO. Through the ID, I look for the movie to update. If the movie is present, then I will write the logic to perform the update. Otherwise, if it's not present, I return a response object with a status code not found. I'm going now to implement the logic for updating the movie. First of all, I convert the movie DTO to movie. Then I should check which field has been updated and which not. Obviously ignoring the ID because I don't want the movie ID in the database to be changed. To merge two movies object in an elegant and clean way, I decided to use Mapstract. I remember that inside the POMXML, I've already imported the Mapstract Maven dependencies. Then I open the Movie Mapper interface and inside this file, I declare a new method called Merge. Inside, I add the target air source of the type of movie. Where will I go to merge the content of the source into the target? To understand who will be the target next to the target variable, I need to add the mapping target annotation. As I said before the during merge, I don't want to override and then change the ID, for this reason, I decided to ignore the ID field during the merge. I can do so by using the property ignore equal true inside the annotation mapping. I also specify the strategy inside the mapper in case of null value, so I decided to use the ignore. Let's go back inside the movie update method and let's merge the movie to update and the movie updated. Then I'm going to return a response with the status code OK with the movie updated. Of course, I'm going to return the DTO and not the DAO. Perfect. I'm going to run and test my project. I open the terminal and run the project in development mode. Excellent! My server is up and running and listening on a port 8080. I open Postman and try the get method. Of course, my list is empty. I'm going to add a new movie inside the database. I'm going to let me copy the movie and then I click on send. Good, I have my movie. Now let's 
try it again the get method okay i can see my movie uh, inside the list and now it's time to test the update movie method In the body of the request, I add the movie that I created and I'm going to modify some fields. I decided to connect the debugging mode with via IntelliJ. I add two breakpoints inside the update movie method. I open Postman, then I'm going to click on Send. Perfect. Now let's see what is inside the movie TTO. Now I found the movie inside the database. I map from movie DTO to movie. And now I have two movie objects that I need to merge. I do the merge with mapstruct. Great, now I have the new fields updated correctly. Very good. Now I decided to test my update movie method sending a JSON with just the ID. Inside the movie DTO, I have a, an object with all null value except the ID. After the mapping, my movie object, we will, we will have only the ID. And after the merge, as you can see, because I've put in place the strategy in your, in case of null value, my movie to update, we will not check. Let's summarize what you learned in this video. You learn how to use the Mapstruct library to merge two objects of the same movie type. You learn how to ignore a specific field during the merge, like the ID. And finally, how to implement the update method with Quarkus. The source code of this video can be found in my GitHub repository under the name Quarkus Mapstract. Feel free to clone it, use it, and modify it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it and I hope you learn a lot from it. If you have any question or doubts, please don't hesitate to contact me or you can write a comment under this video. And finally, if you want, subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new video. Thanks and see you in the next video. Bye.